Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and I'm glad to say that I'm at the end of the grind with the Gorky, and God am I pleased, because it took me a long time to get used to playing this ship. You've seen me play on a lot of destroyers, that's my forte. You've seen me play battleships, and I can mostly hold my own. Um, cruisers, I'm not that great at, and uh, although I don't get deleted all the time... Um, I seem to have a target painted on my back because I think I make a few mistakes, but I think I finally got the hang of this Gorky. I did make a new friend in the game previous, and it is that guy 812 on Xbox. He's a very friendly American guy who goes by the name of Whiskey. So I'd like to say thank you to Whiskey. We had a couple of very fun games in Division. It really helped him because he is quite a new player to the game. And uh, we basically talked through things as we were playing, and I shared some tips and advice, and uh, talked him through how I play the game. Now, straight off the bat, we have got here Nelson there, and here Caracciolo. There are a couple of divisions, and literally the two of us are going to have to hold off a wall of steel here. And I dare not put a foot wrong in this entire game. So there's two battleships, and uh, before too long, the rest of them are going to appear too. Now, I know that Mr. Nelson has his super heals, and he can heal up that burn damage and uh, heal it up quite a lot. But the more fires we get on him, the more he's going to burn, the lower hit points he's going to have. And knowing that he can only really get two turrets on me from the front... I'm going to play moving backwards and forwards. Uh, I'm not going to be kiting around so much on this one, but we are going to have to make a decision to move at some point. And uh, this one is going to go down to the wire, and it is going to go down to the last few hit pots. Hit pots? Hit points. So do stay tuned. Sit through and watch this one with me. Now, I'm using Kuchnesov on this, and I think it's Mimbelli for reload. And uh, I can't remember who the other guy is. It's Cruiser cruiser dispersion um, so I'm hoping that all my shells will land in relatively the same place now the reason I'm playing with my throttle going backwards and forwards is because I'm keeping an eye on those guys putting their shots out and I can move a little bit backwards and forwards and hopefully throw their shots off we can see that B cap is already being turned um, it is being contested, but we have another fire on that Nelson. And watch this destroyer go in, because this was a face palm moment. Absolutely deleted. I have no idea what he was thinking, but given that it was a kid and a premium destroyer, um, I didn't look at the guy's stats afterwards, but um, that was an absolute no-brainer. Um, <laughs> I'm shaking my head as I talk because I still can't believe that he did that. He must know that the Caracciolo has massive sap, sap secondaries. Um, the Nelson was waiting for him. Even if he was running a concealment mod on that Nelson, um, two keys is where he would have been picked up. Um, three keys if he was running the mod with RGA. Now, even though the Caracciolo has dropped out of sight, we are going to keep putting some shots out there as it gets spots. We lose our other destroyer. So we have no destroyers on our team, and red team still have two. But we do land a fire on that Caracciolo, and it is ticking. And we, we are literally playing like shuffle backwards and forwards we've got the caracciolo there and there's at least i think two other battleships coming and this is why i was saying we're, we're holding back a wall of steel because what we got one two three what one two three four five six six battleships and at least four of them are on our side of the map and it's not looking pretty I really feel that at any moment I can get deleted from this game. I know that uh, this cruiser does have good HP, 
But looking at the way it's going, I'm thinking the best we can do is to try and keep as many burns as possible on these guys. They've realized that there is only the two of us out here. And uh, they are now going to start to push the flank. The Colorado, I know, can wipe me. The Fusor can wipe me. The Nelson can wipe me. And the Caracciolo, if he gets into range on us, his secondaries will just tear us to pieces. So, um, Whiskey here is trying to keep the island on his left, sort of on his flank to give him some cover. I can still see through the gap in the middle. So, uh, Nelson is trying to get across the top. We are getting chipped away at, but we are going to keep getting this AP and HE out there and do what we can to these ships. Um, so it's kind of testing the AP there to see, see what it would do. And although we get some hits, it's not doing a massive amount of damage. So again, we're playing with the throttle, we're backing out, we're turning our turrets. We'll then slam it into full reverse and keep jigging around. But what we're thinking is we want to try and drag these guys in, get them to overcommit, sail up through this cap and put a broadside to whoever is across on B cap. Um, Fuso is going on me again, so I'm watching for those shots I'm turning in. And it's really difficult to keep an eye on all of these salvos with four battleships. The carrier is on us as well, so the rest of the map pretty much shouldn't really have anything to worry about. We're holding these guys back, stopping them from taking the capture point and hoping that somebody from blue team will sail in and take a capture point. The carrier misses with his planes on that one. The Caracciolo is now starting to push in. So again, every time we've got a reload, we're looking for a target. You know, it's literally opportunity shot. Get something on it. Try and get a fire. Try and get some damage. And see what we can do to just hold this tsunami of steel back from getting onto this cap. It is a fighting retreat. You know, I know everybody's like, oh, you should be going forward. You shouldn't be at the back of the map. You should be getting in there. Use your torpedoes. Get in close. Use your AP. But if, it were, if I was to do that in this ship, I guarantee I would last all of about one reload, especially with four battleships um, covering the entire arc to their front. We're looking behind us. This Colorado out there is going to have a big game. Um, he's pretty much out there on a zone. Um, I don't know what he's up against, but uh, there's already three ships out of the game. So I'm hoping that uh, he has been uh, dishing it out on there. Now, I did say that there was one red team destroyer left in this game. Now... Unbeknownst to us, it does appear that he got disconnected from the game. But we don't know that, so we're always aware of um, trying to you know, avoid the chance of torpedoes with the constant movement and turn. And he does get himself spotted across there, but I don't know. Um, sorry, no, the Fabuki was the one that was playing. It was the other destroyer that got um, disconnected. But Caracciolo runs his roll in smoke. He's thinking he's going to take the cap while he rolls in his smoke and he's going to disappear. But having just fired his guns, he has got a smoke penalty. So we do get a fire on him as well. And that is going to tick. So all the while we're playing this, I'm sharing some advice with Whiskey about, you know, if... if if you're spotted and that Caracciolo is in range, his secondaries will light you up. If he fires his guns, then his smoke penalty will mean that he's detected again. We get a fire on something else, and now we're trying to use an island to screen us. But that Fuso has a very, very good flanking shot on us. So we're going to turn out from him, and we're still going to try and get another fire on. We'll land some good shots. He gets a couple of turrets off. We can't do anything to contest that cap anymore. So discretion is the better part of Valor. And we are going to come away from it. Nelson gets a good shot on me. Um, literally, that could have been an absolutely terrible one. But we're going to pay him back in kind and get some turrets out on him as we turn away. 
the Fuso is ticking again with fire damage. We get a cap reset and um, a fire on the Nelson again. He's probably got another one of his big heels available. The carrier is constantly harassing us. Nobody else from uh, the rest of the team has gone on to a cap. Um, there's not a lot we can do. We, we are literally fighting for our lives across here with all the big ships. I've got torpedoes coming in again. I'm going to soak one of those. Boom, there we go. I'm going to have to damage control us straight away. The Fuso is still ticking. So I'm thinking, one more fire on you, buddy. You should disappear. Whiskey goes in and absolutely batters the Nelson through the Citadel. We land shots on the Fuso, but he disappears, so we blind fire. We're now pushing the Caracciolo and seeing what we can do about him. There is another ship here. The Fuso has double fires now. He is out of it, so I'm going to try and get another fire onto this Caracciolo. And he's picked up by the Colorado for a Kraken Unleashed, which saved Whiskey from certain death there. The Fuso is the next to go. That is my kill. There is the Colorado. So I am now going to turn back towards Whiskey and keep an eye on this Colorado because I'm going to have to turn broadside and push in to try and give him some will. But we are going to keep our eyes on that guy. Um, who are we asking for help? I can't remember who we're asking for help. I think I'm telling the carrier to sail down and take a cap. You know, he's uncontested across there. He could easily go in. Furious picks up whiskey with some bombs. Colorado decides that he is now in with a chance. And he is going to push in towards C cap because there aren't a lot of points in it. And there's not a lot of time in it. And uh, the carrier has decided that he wants to have another piece of me. And I'm going to make a tough decision here. Because I'm going to turn into B cap and hope that I can turn this cap with the time that's remaining and hopefully seal a victory for us. But in doing so, I'm going to get very, very close to the limit of detection here with this Colorado. I am going to be broadside to him as I sail into this cap. I'm trying to think, when do I do a turn? I don't want to run into the beach. I need to get through that gap. And uh, I'm going to be literally hanging my bare backside out in the wind as we go through here. But his guns are looking the other way. We get some shots onto him, but I am spotted. And as I look across again, I'm sure, yep, there we go. His turrets are turning for me. He gets shots over. This isn't going to look pleasant. I'm thinking Citadel, but no, he lands a couple of shots on me. But we managed to avoid it thanks to the hill and uh, we get a fire on him and that in itself is ticking so the carrier knows that i am on my last legs um we pick up a witherer i get bombed again i've got no option but to use that damage control to survive and now i'm onto the capture point the carrier is still there above me and uh, there is nothing that can help me now there's one minute 40 left on the clock the carrier is getting ever closer to a cap because if anything that is possibly the thing that's going to save us the furious who has pushed round has now got himself spotted so we pop a rear turret off that all the while trying to get away from that colorado and any opportunity for him to get a shot across the top we land a fire on the carrier that obviously gets automatically damage controlled so now we're going to try the colorado again while we're on the cap trying to make a decision about which way to go here it's not looking good do i give up skin to the colorado can we burn him down he's pulling in very close to the island but his guns aren't on me i'm turning around the cap we miss that shot the carrier hits us and just as we get a damage control available we're on 151 hit points 45 seconds left on the cap we get a cap reset we try to get across the top of the colorado again for one more fire um and i'm just thinking actually i need to run i am not going to survive another attack by this plane 
25 seconds on the timer there is 25 seconds on the cap so again I'm playing for survival here. We are playing for the win. There is nothing in it here. The carrier has a cap for us. That should be sufficient. He takes out the Colorado with seven, six, five points. Sorry, five points. Five seconds left in the game. The Furies is running. His planes aren't going to make it to me. And we survive with rust and barnacles holding the ship together. We pick up 110,000 damage with 198 gun hits, 14 fire, 7 cap resets, only one plane shot down, but we do pick up a witherer, and uh, Whiskey there and his Normandy manages a respectable 5th place on the team, I pick up 2nd, but as I said, that Colorado had a massive game with a Kraken and high calibre. So I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and don't forget it is possible to make friends out there. Not everybody's a potato and even potatoes can sometimes be your friend. So uh, be kind to everybody. Until next time, take care and goodbye.